Hi everyone. Okay, let's solve this. We have square root of x divided by 2x equals 4. And then we want to solve this. Let's cross multiply right away. So we have square root of x equals 8x. But you know that some persons will not want to cross multiply. Okay, we'll talk about that after now. And um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. We have square root of x squared equals 8x squared. This is because this has to go with this so that x will be equal to 64x squared. Because 8 squared is 64 and x squared is coming down. And do you know that we always write 64x squared before the x since it has the highest or uh, the higher power. Bring this to the left so we have 64x squared minus x equals 0. Cut it here. What is common is x. So here we have 64x minus 1 and this is equal to 0. So our x is um, 0 or 64x minus 1 equals 0. I apply this method because we are to multiply these two to get 0. So one of them has to be 0. Our x remains 0 or 64x is 1. Now x is equal to 0 or um, 64x divided by 64 is equal to 1 divided by 64. This is going there, so our x here remains 0, or x here is equal to 1 over 64. Okay, so this is what we have. We are having two solutions from here. Now, let's, let's use another method for this. Okay, imagine we have um, root x over 2x equals 4. And we do not want to cross multiply. We will now rearrange what we have here to get um, we have x to the power of 1 over 2 all over 2x equals 4. Now let's continue from here. Okay so from here now let's rearrange this. This can be 1 over 2 times x squared Okay, x to the power of 1 over 2 divided by x. If you multiply this, you're going to have this back. Okay? And the whole of this is equal to 4. Now, we have 1 over 2 here times... Here, we have the same base. So, pick one of that. And then we have... Um, the power here is 1. So, we have 1 over 2 minus 1. And everything here is equal to 4. Sorry, I wrote out of sight. 1 over 2 times... Here now we have x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2. So this is equal to 4, right? Okay, so from here we can just say this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2 over 2 equals 4. Because these two multiply by this, the two will go under. Now, square root of negative 1, so rather, x to the power of um, negative 1 over 2 is equal to 8 if you cross multiply. Now, how do I do away with this power here, 1 over 2? I'll multiply it by its reciprocal, right? So, we have x to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by negative 2 over 1. The reciprocal of minus 1 over 2 is negative um, negative 2 over 1. So this will be equal to 8 to the power of negative 2 over 1. Because what we introduce on the left must be introduced on the right. Now 2 will go there. Then negative 1 times negative 1 will give positive. So x is alone here and it's equal to 8 to the power of negative 2 because negative 2 over 1 is negative 2 and now our x is equal to 1 over 8 to the power of 2 the negative is now gone 
so that our x will now be 1 over 64. So the second method now is giving us one solution. And the first method gave us x to be 0 or 1 over 64. So it looks like one of the methods is um, giving us more accurate solution. Remember the equation still remains square root of x over 2x equals 4. Now if we put 0 here now, it will make this to be undefined because we cannot divide by 0. So this is saying that this means that the obvious solution now is x equals 1 over 4, um, 64. Okay, so this right here is the solution and x equals 0 has to be rejected. Thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more of my videos.